James Comey was correct about sending that letter to Congress. The American people believe that it was new information. The fact that emails from Hillary Clinton to Huma and Huma to Hillary were on a computer in the possession of Anthony Weiner. Had James Comey not told the Congress immediately about the situation, it would have looked really, really bad for the FBI. Now, you know what? I'm on the side of the FBI that are ethical, but you know what? Even if the FBI that are in the higher management, I'm not talking about James Comey. I think he's kind of in the middle of a big internal battle of control that's been brewing ever since the cover-up of GW800. But I believe that there are really good ethical FBI agents and retirees that are sick of Clinton corruption. And I believe that James Comey is in a no-win situation, but I hope he stays FBI director. And I do believe that his letter to um, Jason Chaffetz was very much justified. I do know that people that um, have worked their butts off in the national security field are very angry that the DOJ did not want to prosecute and the FBI was forced to not recommend charges because they knew that the charges would go nowhere. But I do believe that there is ongoing investigations into Clinton Foundation fraud. If I'm wrong about that, I will be mad as hell and I'll be moving out of America because America then is not a place that a fair, ethical person should live. But if the Clinton Foundation is being investigated, that I believe it is, then I want to try to live in America as long as I can afford the damn Obamacare. This is Sharon Bovat, the voice of a moderate. I believe. America can be great again. America has lost its greatness because of cronyism and corruption. And it's not just Hillary Clinton. There's the Republicans that are into it too. It's just sad that the person that can help save America from destruction is a man that's kind of embarrassing. But you know what? I'm going to vote for Donald Trump tomorrow because I love my country. I hope everyone else does too. After this election is over, and if Clinton wins, I will hope to God that she doesn't kill me. And I believe that I'm very low on the totem pole because there's a lot more people that know a lot more than me that she probably has on the kill list. And trust me, she has a kill list. I know a lot of dead people. Maybe that's why some very ethical FBI, they wanted Hillary Clinton indicted. Because after all, what she did was a crime. A crime that others are in jail today for. Others are being persecuted for. What's going on in America is not just a problem with the FBI. It's a problem in the entire intelligence community. There's an internal battle of control at the FBI. There's an internal battle of control in the intelligence community. God bless America. Sharon Bovat, Voice of a Moderate.